Hello dear students, welcome to this class on the poem The Grass Blade by Sunidhi Nam Joshi. Sunidhi Nam Joshi is an IS officer turned poet who settled in uh, UK. Uh, she went to US, Canada and many other places and published many works, uh, especially this feminist fables which is a reworking or retelling of uh, myths uh, and uh, sub it's a subversion of uh, the female male literary tradition she writes for children she writes about uh, cultural identity gender equality oppression uh, sexual orientation and so on the poem that we are learning today that is the grass blade it's about oppression faced by women and how they resist to that oppression in a very different uh, way she brings in the image of a grass blade and the sickle and the person who uses the sickle to cut the grass blade so this is the imagery that we get uh, from the poem it's a very beautiful but a very small poem and so the image is that of a grass blade and a sickle and a, a person uh, we just get the image of the person's uh, feet with the shoes so we'll read the poem and we'll see how this uh, particular concept of uh, oppress oppression faced by women and the resistance uh, that they, uh, how they resist uh, to that oppression is uh, brought forth by this beautiful imagery. And uh, this poem, The Grass Blade, is taken from the collection, Psychorax, New Poems, New Fables and Poems. So it's a collection of poems and we find this grass blade from it. I want all of you to take the page 77 of your anthology, Breaking the Silence. So we'll read the poem. It's a very beautiful, uh, there are only a few lines. As the first blade bends, grass blade murmurs. I bend but do not break. Foot keeps coming down. Passionate grass blade mounts a campaign. Grass blades henceforth to be made of glass. Feet henceforth to travel shoeless, people walk away. Why get hurt? Oak tree observes. Feet are not relevant. So, it's a very beautiful poem. Only a few lines are there and each line it carries uh, different layers of meaning. Where it is deeper than we uh, actually see. The poem begins by, by the image of the glass blade murmuring. That's actually, and it's, though it is murmuring with a soft voice, the grass blade says, I bent but do not break. So what happens uh, before that? There is another blade. So there is this fun with the word blade. One is grass blade and another one is the blade of some uh, tool, maybe a sickle or uh, some sort of a knife or something which is used to cut these grass blades, grasses. So as the first grass uh, first blade, as the first blade bends to cut the grass, the grass blade murmurs very softly, resists to it, say, I bend but I do not break. So this grass blade is very fragile. So it is a reference to the fragility of uh, women, uh, face, because the fragility is due to many uh, things, you know, maybe because of the customs and traditions, uh, there are certain things which are which uh, chain women to the four walls of the uh, house so all these things are there but they bend women they bend us but they do not break us these customs and traditions they weigh me down and bend me but it cannot break us so this is an instance of resistance that we find here no you cannot break us though this weight of your sickle can bend me the customs that you carry uh, to oppress me bend me but they do not break me so this is the first instance or first image the blade comes to cut the grass blade but the grass blade resists and gives this answer you cannot uh, you cannot break me though i bent with the weight of tradition and a patriarchal society and other violence but i am not going to break down then this resistance doesn't take you anywhere maybe during uh, like it doesn't actually make any sense uh, to uh, the society foot keeps coming down you know the foot 
like these customs and uh, traditions and other instances of oppression violence against women it keeps coming it, it keeps coming on but now it's not a soft sound that we hear from the grass blade now the passionate grass blade the grass blade is now uh, passionate about uh, her rights and says now she makes a campaign says the grass blade mounts a campaign and there are two slogans that she uh, brings about one is grass blades henceforth to be made of glass it shouldn't be uh, like it should be made of glass and then feet one is about herself that is she should be made of glass and then she says feet henceforth to travel shoeless so that i the grass blades won't be trampled but on the other hand there is another issue here now what happens now it is hard it is very strong the glass blade because it is made of glass but the thing is that it makes it brittle glass is brittle you can it is easily breakable initially she was she could bend and you know, she she was weighed down by the uh, tradition custom but it didn't break her but now what happens if this weight of tradition and custom is put on her though she is strong but it can break her that is another uh now the on another level it's that and then the second slogan feet henceforth to travel shoeless so that i won't be the grass blade won't be trampled but what is the reaction of the society people says you know then why why walk that way why why walk on it or why mingle with women um without like i don't want to these shoes you know it refers to the traditions and customs and certain things used by the society to oppress women to uh, put them behind uh, the four walls and to suppress their talents so without that you know uh, like without controlling women people like the society always wants to control women men wants to control women so if she if she is strong and if she make uh, if she is passionate and uh, mounts a campaign then she is very bold and i don't want to do anything with that and it's a threat to the male ego and they walk away why get hurt saying that they move away so then we find another oak tree a maybe a critic somewhere uh, some, uh, from outside here uh, the that oak tree observes feet are not relevant so actually in our greek mythology this oak tree resembles an oracle so this is as if an oracle speaks so when these men walk away uh, hearing that you know they should be shoeless any uh, after i mean shoeless henceforth that is you know uh, they shouldn't actually uh, treat women uh, or oppress women then they walk away saying that uh, like saying that i don't want to get hurt and they walk away but oak tree the oracle says feet are not relevant you shouldn't be bothered with that you shouldn't be bothered if you don't have the companion or support of the society or men uh, to be particular so don't it is not relevant so this is a message that sunidhi nam joshi is trying to give so uh, don't Uh, what you call you know you don't have to tolerate this oppression tolerate the sickle tolerate the shoes and move on but you can resist if they walk away let them walk away because they are it's not relevant it's not important what is important is you yourself so this is a message that we get from this beautiful poem let's read the poem once again as the first blade bends grass blade murmurs i bend but do not break foot keeps coming down passionate grass blade mounts a campaign grass blades henceforth to be made of glass feet henceforth to travel shoeless people walk away why get hurt oak tree observes feet are not relevant so this is how the poem is this is all about uh, this poem very beautiful how women resist and then if they are made of glass on the other hand what happens you know even if it breaks it hurts the person who breaks it right if it is uh, if it is a normal grass blade when the sickle comes when when it is oppressed the oppressor is not hurt only the grass blade is hurt but if it is made of grass glass you know the person who breaks that glass breaks that woman also gets hurt so that is why 
people walk away or when they are asked to walk shoeless why get hurt why get hurt while breaking them down and the oak tree says you don't have to worry about it feet are not relevant whoever wants to leave from your life let them leave be yourself thank you